बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन फुल कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिस्पोजिशन ऑफ कैपिटलाइज कॉस्ट एंड हाउ टू कंप्यूट अमोटाइजेशन अंडर फुल कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग मेथड यूजिंग यूनिट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड यूनिट ऑफ रेवेन्यू फॉर्मूला प्लीज लाइक subscribe and share my channel to search for accounting lessons and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video for all of your questions comments and suggestions please put them in the comment section below and for webinar and guest speaker invites please send me a message at accountingamir@gmail.com accounting is a k we hope that this video help students in their academic development and teachers in enhancing their lesson plans and teaching methodologies <clears throat> we also hope that this video help fresh graduates who have joined the oil and gas companies and want to refresh their learning on disposition of capitalized cost and how to compute amortization under full cost accounting method using unit of production and unit of revenue formula so let us start with the concept of disposition of capitalized cost <clears throat> all successful and unsuccessful cost associated with acquisition exploration and development activities are considered to be part of the cost of any oil or gas produced and should be amortized over production the capitalized cost can be amortized by unit of production and unit of revenue formula all capitalized cost in the cost center are amortized over proved reserves using the unit of production basis although there are few exceptions in case of joint oil and gas production they have to be converted to a common unit of measure based on relative energy content in case the oil and gas prices are disproportionate then the unit of revenue is a more appropriate basis of computing amortization in that case the actual selling price of the oil and gas is used to value the production during the year and current prices at the end of the year are used in valuing the proved reserves please note that the revenue method is not allowed under successful effort accounting let us solve an illustration regarding disposition of capitalized cost using the two formulas lucky company has oil and gas properties located only in the united states data for lucky company as of december 31 are given to us the cost to be amortized is given to us we have the production during the year we have the proved reserves we have the current selling price and we have the selling price during the year and just note that current selling price means the price at the end of the year we have to compute the dna based on equivalent energy units so we are going to first of all apply the if calculate the equivalent units as the information for production is in barrels and metric cubic feet so if we just convert them into the equivalent of oil so it will remain the same that is 5000 barrels while the gas will be divided by 6 to convert it into barrels of oil equivalent and that is going to be 2000 and the total is 7000 similarly for reserves oil is 80000 and it is not going to be converted as it is given in barrels while gas that is given in metric cubic feet will be converted into barrels of oil equivalent by dividing by 6 and that is going to be 50000 
so the total is 130,000 barrels of oil equivalent and now we are going to calculate the dd and a and dd and a is the cost to be amortized and the cost to be amortized is 2 million 700 thousand divided by the proved reserves and these reserves are converted into barrels of oil equivalent that is 130,000 but this is at the end of the year so we have to add the production to know the proved reserves at the beginning of the year and that is going to be 7,000 times production that is 7,000 again so this will give us 137,000 956 so the dd and a using equivalent energy units is 137,956 dollars now in case so the general entry in this case will be dd and a expense debit and accumulated depreciation dd and a credit by 137,956 next uh, let us uh let us look for calculating the dd and a using the unit of revenue math uh, formula and uh, now in this case we are just simply going to take the revenue from production we have oil for 5000 and the gas is 12000 so the selling price is 22 per barrel and gas is 2 per barrel so this will be equal to 110000 and this will be 24,000 and the total is 134,000. Just keep one thing in mind that to determine the revenue from production, we apply the selling price or the actual selling price during the year 2016 and for gas oil it is 22 and for gas it is 2 then we are going to determine the revenue from reserves and the reserves are 80,000 barrels and 300,000 barrels and the rate that is going to be applicable is 20 and 2.2 so this will be 1,600,000 and 660,000 that will make it 2,260,000 just make a note that to determine the total revenue from the reserves uh, we have to use the current selling price that is the selling price at the year end so now we can calculate the dd and a for by using the unit of revenue formula and this will be equal to the cost to be amortized and the cost to be amortized is 2,700,000 divided by proof reserves at the end of the year and the proof reserves at the end of the year is 2,260,000 just keep in mind that when we take the proof reserves it is the estimated proof reserves at the beginning of the year valued at year and price so this is important to be kept in mind so 2,700,000 divided by 2,260,000 and this is at the end of the year so we are going to add the production and the production is 134,000 times the production that is 134,000 and this will be equal to 151 128 so that's how we calculate the uh, dd and a using the unit of revenue method and this completes the second video on full cost accounting method where we explained the concept of disposition of capitalized cost and how to compute amortization under full cost accounting method using unit of production and unit of revenue formula I hope you have enjoyed this presentation 
and if you found value in this video then please like subscribe and share my channel and hit the notification bell button to alert you for the latest video for webinar and guest speaker invites please send me a message at accountingamir at gmail.com remember effective questioning brings insight which fuels curiosity which cultivates wisdom if you have any question or any suggestion regarding this session then please put them in the comment box below or by email and inshallah i will reply you back thank you so much and happy learning